Hi there, it's Dan here from Flexible. And if you're a lead gen agency, I'm going to show you today how you can qualify leads with OpenAI to make sure they're the best quality you've ever had. Let's dive in. You know, the agency world, lead gen world, the whole world is really moving at a furious pace right now with everything that's kind of come out with OpenAI and ChatGBT and all this cool stuff, right? And I wanted to kind of show you how we're incorporating what's, you know, these advancements, advancements in technology and putting them into our lead gen funnels to be able to almost remove the client in a way or the qualifying criteria that the client usually needs. The old way of doing this was an advertorial, okay? So you had an ad, a clickbaity type ad that might say something like, um, if you're looking for a, a new EV, but don't want to put any money down, then this might help. All right, and then it goes to an advertorial, which does a really good job of pre-selling and pre-framing the consumer before they get to the call to action. They click on that call to action, they go to a landing page, they complete a quiz or whatever that is, and then the lead goes to the client. The client then gets on the phone, qualifies the lead out, make sure that they've got all the, the right criteria. They could be a homeowner, they might have already have a car and people that might qualify, they then get sold the product, all right? But then there'll be people that are unemployed, um, that don't have great credit rating and um, haven't got a car already um, and they're just not a good fit, so they get thrown into the bin. What happens is that the client has to deal with all of those leads as they come in, okay? Those, you know, out of 100 leads that come in, 60 of them might be crappy quality, they waste the sales team's time. Um, because they don't qualify and the other 40 are good and then they might close half of those 40, okay, for the ROI they're expecting from the lead gen company. The same goes for a quiz funnel. Take this quiz to see if you qualify for a brand new EV car. car. They ask the qualifying um, questions within the quiz and then they're sent to the client. And what can happen then is that sometimes you can send some of the leads through that are a good fit and you can send some of the Poor quality leads through to a different type of cust, uh, different client or whatever that is, right? But you know, there's there's a lot of kind of manual work that needs to be done by the uh, by the client and their client's team in order for them to get to the really good leads. Okay, but things are changing at a dramatic pace, and what we're doing inside our own agency um, and what we're teaching with our latest product called the Sales Android, we're able to put people through. Uh, like a chat in high level and qualify them out with chat GBT and open AI. All right. And I'm going to explain briefly how this works. Bear in mind, I'm not like a, a massively techie person. My team does this for me, but sometimes that helps if I can explain it in a layman's way. So let me take a um, quick break to gather my thoughts and then I'll explain it to you. Okay. So the way this worked is that, um, or the way this started inside my community and it's Going, well, it's growing at a furious rate at the moment, is that one of my students, a guy called Jamie, reached out to me and said, listen, I'm doing this really cool thing where I'm using open AI, I'm in the legal niche, and what I'm doing is, is kind of any lead that comes in, I'm checking it against open AI to see whether they've actually, you know, I'm asking open AI to read case law and figure out, you know, read all of this stuff that the lawyers study for. And as, as we're chatting to the um, lead, we're kind of matching um, their criteria up with case law and feeding it back and saying whether or not they've got a really good chance of qualifying for this product, okay, uh, which was in the legal niche over here in the UK. And what's happening is that basically the funnel that he's built and, and we're building with him is now doing the work of the lawyers, okay. Obviously, it's we don't we don't want to get into the legal jargon of how all of this works, right? And you know you've got to have disclaimers on your site and all that type of stuff. But I don't want to get into that today. But what we're finding is that we're able to um, generate fantastic quality leads with people that are kind of 90, 95 percent sure they've got a claim by matching it with case law. And this is like an incredible development. You know, it means that the client's going to have to do less work. The quality of leads coming through are a lot better. The client's able to pay more per lead. The agency's going to make more money. It's just this, you know, this huge kind of advancement in the way that we generate leads. The good thing is that us as marketers, as lead gen agencies, hold a lot of this control, right? Because we're actually doing the most of the heavy lifting. We're generating the interest for the client. We're qualifying the client, holding them back if they're not a good fit, 
and only passing them on when they're ready on a silver platter, ready to be converted. Okay, I guess the client is just there to, you know, take their bank details or whatever it is and close the lead. All right, so let me explain, you know, how it works and, and what it looks like in layman's terms. So the way that we're doing it at the moment is we're able to put an ad out there for whatever niche you want, as long as there's a qualifying criteria, which, you know, it could be EV, it could be the law, personal injury, it could be solar. You know, there's so many different types of uh, services and products and offers out there where people have to be qualified before they can be passed on. All right, so the ad dangles the carrot. They then go through a Facebook lead form. And what happens after that is we direct them with the blue button at the end of the lead form to a landing page, which asks a few qualifying questions that is kind of like food for OpenAI, all right? What happens then is the criteria qualifying questions and the user or the prospect might type in a, a few sentences about their unique situation, which we ask them to do. That is then fed to OpenAI. Um, OpenAI AI comes back via Zapier and we start chatting to the consumer with our, we're calling it our sales Android, which goes back and forth and continues to ask questions until they're satisfied that all of these criteria are met. And then when they are, they'll pass, we'll, we'll kind of pass the lead on to the client using our CRM system. So what are some of the other you know, benefits of this, right? Because all of the chatting and all of the work is done, being done by our sales Android, there's no real requirement to switch the ads off at 6 p.m. because all of this qualifying is done via, you know, via the Android, okay? We don't have to worry about open, out of hours leads. We don't have to worry about what happens if a lead comes in and the client doesn't pick up the phone and call them straight away. They're being engaged with and told that they've got a very good chance of qualifying for whatever the service is extremely quickly. We can also teach you know, with our sales Android how to move people. Um, well, basically, if the lead comes in and the, they stop chatting, then we can tell the sales Android to continue to engage with these people until they basically tell the sales Android to stop, all right? So they will keep, it will keep going forever until they get the desired response and they won't stop until they get it, either stop or they get the outcome that we've asked it to get, all right? And this is just very exciting times. As you can probably tell, I'm pretty excited about it. So the way um, I see it, there's two kind of components to what we're doing here. One is to th using the ad and uh, the qualifying criteria and the last page, the landing page I was talking about to ask those questions. And once we've got that, then the next piece of the puzzle is having ChatGBT come back and chat to the person. And we use High Level and Zapier to connect all of this, all right? So if you wanna know more about how this works and you're excited as I am about it, then there's a link below which explains more about how, how the sales Android works and what it does. I'd love for you to check it out. Um, and if you've got any questions or anything like that, please comment below and we'll get back to you. Speak soon.